learning transfer is something that needs to be thought of right from the beginning of any learning initiative. Stephen Covey talked about start with the end in mind. What is it that you want out of this learning initiative? If you're going to do some training, you're going to do some coaching, if you're going to do some e-learning, what do you want out the other end of that? And almost all the time, there's going to be a behavioral component. So at the very beginning, when you're doing what I term a behavioral needs analysis, which is thinking about what are the tasks people need to do, how do they need to do them, what behaviors do they need to exhibit consistently and, and effectively in order to get those tasks done well, that's where you need to start and think about, well, actually, what I need to do is deliver those behaviors to those people. And then automatically, when you ask yourself the question, how do I deliver those behaviors, then you'll be thinking about learning transfer, even if you don't use that term. Whereas if you do what most L&D people do is think about what's my curriculum and how am I going to deliver that information to people, you won't be thinking about learning transfer, you'll be thinking about content delivery. And at that point, you, you're almost behind the eight ball and you, you, you know, it's almost too late. So learning transfer started the, really at the beginning. If I'm going to deliver these behaviors to people, how am I going to do that? And then learning transfer will come out of that thinking process when you start from that point. Learning transfer has an inherent cost in the fact that it will require a little more than just putting people in a classroom and then letting them go in the corridor and back to their desks. So the reason that people change their behavior is over a period of time, they will experiment, they'll practice, they'll get a bit of knowledge, uh, they will do some reflection, they'll talk to colleagues, they'll watch out how other people do things. So all of these little activities built up over time will end up with them starting to use what they've learned in their workplace. And then they'll start doing things differently and doing different things. So there is going to be a cost because it's not just saying, put them in the classroom and it's all done and dusted. It's not an event, behavior change is not, not an event-based process other than the occasional road to Damascus conversion. What you've got to do is give people the activities and tasks and this is why I talk about a learning workflow where you set up a sequence of tasks over a period of time that will lead people from the behaviors they're currently doing to the behaviors you want them to do. They need to cross that gap. They need to travel that journey. And that might take a short time. It might take months and months and months, depending on what it is in terms of behaviors you're seeking to change. There's a number of things around implementing learning transfer. There's the whole process of doing it. Then you start to realize you've got to set up what I term learning workflows for people, which is a sequence of activities spread over time. The only way you're going to do that and be able to scale it is to apply some kind of digital solution. So what People Alchemy can bring to the mix is a real depth of experience and understanding of learning transfer and how to make your trainings actually have be effective and provide some impact in the workplace. And then how can you add to your training to put a wrapper around it, if you like, to make it actually work effectively when people then heading back to their desk or their workflow? We've got a platform, a learning workflow platform that will do all of that and manage and administer that for you and enable it to scale to, if necessary, thousands and thousands of users. So learning transfer to work needs a learning workflow, and we have a learning workflow platform. That's pretty unique out there globally. There's not very much out there doing that workflow approach. 